You say NVIDIA might be getting too hot. Why? Well, I like to be a contrarian, as you know. Um, and I think right now the problem is you have FOMO. And I'm going to steal Mike's line this morning, but like a teenager on Instagram has less FOMO than a uh, corporate CEO. Um, I think everybody right now feels like they have to be in the game. You know, they're spending billions of dollars right now in their data centers, upgrading to these GPU chips. And I think you know, it's probably like 10 years worth of demand up front right now. And the problem is... There was no analyst last year that told us that their earnings were going to go up over 460 percent a year. Those same analysts aren't going to tell us when the slowdown comes. And it already trades at 44 times forward earnings. That's above the five-year average. So I think expectations are way too high. Can keep going higher here. There's still six trillion dollars in cash that can just feed into this market and fuel these stocks higher. But I bet rather be earlier than late. And we learned that with Cisco back in the late 90s, 2000. I mean, that stock went up to 200 times forward earnings. But man, when it went down, it went down 80 percent. And it's a semiconductor stock, NVIDIA. It can go down just as much in a bad year. Wow. Well, today, over the last few weeks, we've seen investment in AI from corporate America. When, when we first started talking about this AI phenomenon, it was largely Google, you know, Alphabet, rather, uh, Facebook, these companies spending on AI. But now you're actually seeing an investment into AI from larger corporates away from yeah. tech. That gave me some, you know, instinct that maybe it has legs. But how much higher can this stock go? Yeah, I mean, look, based on the late 90s, it can go a lot higher. Um, markets stay irrational longer than you say solvent. But I think your point, the point here is other companies are going to use AI to improve their margins. Right. I don't other companies that's going to benefit. That's what happened in the late 90s. During the next decade, all those Internet stocks did nothing, but every other stock benefited from the Internet. Every stock is going to be an AI company, just like uh, every company became an Internet company back in the uh, late 90s, 2000. So mm -hmm. I think, or the last decade after 2000. But also I would say like the affiliate stocks, like you need a lot of energy to power AI. Utility stocks were up 6% last month because of that. And utilities need to get energy from things like energy pipelines, uh, which are up like 11 percent this year, trades 75 percent cheaper than, uh, you know, what NVIDIA does and pays like a 7 percent dividend. So I think there's just so many other places to put your money right now. We're getting good dividends. My clients are baby boomers. They need cash flow. Uh, they trade at such a big discount to what semiconductor stocks do right now. Yeah. And people are going to miss the boat by just over concentrating in the same area. So I think the, I think the message right now is if you're smart is be proactive, uh, you know, Rediversify your portfolio out across other markets. Don't concentrate because when the party stops, it's not going to be pretty. And most investors are going to miss the boat on that.